Hello everyone and welcome back to Family Life Builders TV where we are rebuilding homes and transforming society. In today's episode of Prayer of Destiny Protection for Our Children, we're going to continue to the part 2 of the life of Joash. In the part 1 of this podcast on the Prayer of Destiny for the Children, we look at how Jehoiada the priest helped Joash and crowned him as the king. He protected him with his wife, that is Jehosheba and the nurse. So taking care of Joash was actually a collection, combination of people that come together to nurture him. And I remember that we also pray some of the prayer that people we gather to nurture our children, people we gather to nurture us because we are also children in the hand of our parents. So today we're going to look at what happens next and what we should pray about. At a point, Jehoiada grew old, and I'm reading from Second Chronicles, chapter 24, and I'm reading verse 15 now. And it says, But Jehoiada grew old and was full of days, and he died. He was 130 years old when he died. Verse 16, And they buried him in the city of David among the kings, because he had done good in Israel, both towards God at his house this is a man that was full of wonderful testimony and what else let's see where we need to concentrate our prayer home today for our children and for ourselves the bible says in verse 17 now after the death of jehoiada the leaders of judah came and bowed down to the king and the king listened to them bowing down they listened to him they tricked him they present themselves to be good. They present themselves like we are here. We are subjected to you. You are good. The praise of men. I want us to decree and declare. Father, in the name of Jesus, my children will not listen to the praise of men. This prayer is going to be in two parts. The first part will be that, Lord, the helpers of my children, my helpers, my mentors, they will not die before I grow old. They will not die before I can be independent in ministry, in life, in every area of my life. I want us to begin to decree in righteousness and say, Father, and I decree and I declare, oh God, Father, in the name of Jesus, my helpers, the helpers of my children, my tutors, they will not die before their time. They will not die before I grew up to be independent, to stand on my own. They will not die because I'm in, before I am enough to stand. They will not die before I can take the the right decision in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we we'll pray. Amen. I want us to pray that Father give me wisdom, wisdom to learn all that I have to learn, wisdom to know all that I need to know, incubate me to maturity. Because when this man of God died. This boy was not a young man at this point, but still he was being deceived by these people. I want us to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, you will help me to learn all I have to learn. You will give me wisdom. You will grant me wisdom, knowledge and understanding. You will grant my children wisdom. You will grant my children knowledge. You will grant my children understanding. Understanding to know what to do per time. Understanding of time. Understanding of your will for their life. Understanding Understanding of the fruit of the spirit and Lord in the name of Jesus we decree this understanding we decree maturity we decree maturity upon our lives, upon our children financial maturity spiritual maturity wisdom maturity maturity in decision making Father we decree upon the life of our children, I decree upon David I decree upon Esther in the name of Jesus I decree upon my life and destiny upon 
upon my children, upon my spiritual children. Oh Lord, I decree spiritual maturity in the name of Jesus. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. For everyone in the position of leadership, there's a need for them to have a discerning spirit. For every mother, for every leader, we need discerning spirit. I want us to decree. Because when those elders came, he should have been able to discern. This guy, this young man, Joash, has been holding the testimony of the Lord. He grew up in the temple. I want us to decree. Father, in the name of Jesus, please, Lord, grant me discernment. In the name of Jesus, grant me discernment. To God, grant me discernment to God, grant my children discernment to God in the name of Jesus. Give us understanding, help us to be able to smell deception of men, <laughs> even from afar. Oh God, grant us the grace, grant us the enablement in the name of Jesus. Waking our spirit, waking our soul, waking our body in the name of Jesus. Waking our spirit of understanding, waking my children's spirit of understanding. So that they smell evil people, evil from afar, oh God, in the name of Jesus. My children are protected, <laughs> they are defended from the deception of men in the name of Jesus. When they are the position of power, when they are the high level of their ministry, of their career, of their marriage, in the name of Jesus, they are shielded from deception of men in the name of Jesus. I am protected. I am defended from deception of men in the name of Jesus. I am defended. I am protected in the name of Jesus. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. Glory be to your name, O God. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. <clears throat> now look at the painful aspects of this lesson. Hmm. <clears throat> When everything, when he started doing things in his own sight, when he listened to those people and they went against the gods, the God of their fathers, can you imagine? And the Bible says, therefore, they left the house of the Lord God of their fathers and served wooden images and idols. And rats came upon Judah and Jerusalem because of their trespass. You know, when, when, when children, when people, you know, virtually all of us that we are children, when we get to some point in life, there is every tendency of serving idols. Idols is anything that we prioritize in our life above God. It could be that career. It could be that ministry. It could be anything whatsoever we prioritize above God. It is idol. There is every tendency. And those people, this is what they do. And it is, it is seen as trespass before God. God hates idolatry. I want us to tell God. Lord, at every point in my life, <laughs> I refuse to move away from you. Lord, at every stages of my life, at every stages of my wealth and influence, at every stages of my children, when wealth and influence, oh God, they will not move away from you, oh God. Nothing will become an idol. Brethren, let's open our mouth and pray this prayer. Mother spreads this prayer. Children, pray this prayer. This is the thing that will make the life of a man count. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus that Lord, you help me, oh God. Help my children to go. Help my generation to go. Lord, nothing will turn to an idol in our spirit, in our soul, in our possession. Nothing will turn to an idol in the name of Jesus. We will serve you till the end. We made a pledge to go that no matter how wealthy and influential we are, no matter how powerful we are, we make a choice to stand for you. We make a choice to live for you. Our children make a decision to stand for you. Our children, we, we put 
children in covenant. Uh, we put our children in covenant to serve you. We put our children in covenant to obey you. No idol will have a place in your life, David Ogoluafimion. No idol will have a place in your heart, Esther Mulolua. In the name of Jesus, no, no idol will have a place in my heart. In the name of Jesus, we are shielded and protected. Our heart is shielded with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Blessed be thy name, O God. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. And the Bible says something. The Bible says, Yet he sent prophet to them to bring them back to the Lord. And they testify against them, but they will not listen. So these people, their hearts has been sold out to those idols just because of deception of some people that came to this young man when his mentor died. I want us to pray that Lord, by your mercy, by your mercy, when people come to correct me, cause me to obey. <laughs> because there are some people there is every tendency, don't let me say some people, there is every tendency that when you get to some point in your life, you feel you know it all. There's this man of God, Duncan Williams, he was sharing the, 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 the testimony of how he became proud to uh, Bishop Benson Idaosa. And at the end of the day, he got into trouble. And at a point, he has to repent. And when he repented and went back to Bishop Bidalsa, he said he prayed for him. And he remembered this prayer that he said he prayed. He said, Idaosa said, Devil, this is between me and my son. Leave his life alone. And what happened immediately? All the troubles were silenced because accusers stood against him. When we disobey God, when we allow idols in our life, we will not listen to anyone. We will feel we, we are old enough to make decisions. I want us to pray. Lord, when people speak to me, please help me to help me to obey. Help me to honor you in their life. No matter what you have done for me. No matter how great and influential I am. No matter how great and influential my children are. Lord, <laughs> no matter our influence. No matter our power. Lord, cause us to obey men. Cause us to obey men of authority. Cause us to obey leaders of God. Cause us to obey leadership. In the name of Jesus, is there any child around you right now that refuse to obey you? I want us to pray. Lord, open the heart of such children. In the name of Jesus, all around the world of God, children that felt they are big enough, that refuse to obey instructions, that refuse to obey leadership, and they are tending towards destruction. We pray, our Father and our God, that you touch the heart of these children, oh God. You cause them to return back to you. In the name of Jesus, all our leaders, oh God, cause them to return back to you. Even myself, oh God, Help me to obey, oh God. Help me to obey, oh God. The people you have placed in my heart, in my life, oh, to lead and direct me. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Spirit of the Living God. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. And this is the last prayer. So this is what happened. This young man, when the son of Prophet Jehoiada rose up and said, Look, what you are doing is not right. There is a need for you to change. Do you know what he did? The Bible says they conspire against him. They conspire against him and at the command of the king, they stone him. I'm reading verse 21. They stoned him in the court of the house of the Lord. Verse 22. Thus, Joash the king did not remember the kindness which Jehoiada his father done to him but he killed his son and he died but before he died the bible says he says something he said the lord look on it and repay you there are several people who are being paid for things like this there are some parents that people have done good to you and you repay them with evil. Of course, this was very quick because not long after then, through the war of the Assyrian, this young man, the 
king died. And you know what happened? It was also his own servants that killed him. So the curse actually came to pass immediately over him. But will it continue this way? Could it be that if this young man had not done this, could it be that this wouldn't have happened to him? I want us to pray and tell God, Father, please, every form of evil that my generation have done, that is waiting for me, or that I have done, that will wait for my children. Father, let the blood of Jesus cancel it today. In the name of Jesus, please don't let my children do evil to their helpers. Please don't let me do evil to my helpers. In the name of Jesus, I want us to decree and tell God, please, Father, don't let me do evil to my helpers. Don't let me do evil to the children of my helpers. Don't let me do evil to anyone. Don't let evil have a hold in my heart. Don't let evil have a hold in my heart. Oh Lord, I pray. Don't let evil have a hold in the heart of my children. In the name of Jesus, let righteousness be established in the life of my children. Let righteousness be established in my own life, oh God. In the name of Jesus and any form of evil that my generation, my forefathers, my parents that they have done that might be waiting for me not by the blood of Jesus I cancel it today in the name of Jesus I cancel it today in the name of Jesus and I ask for mercy that mercy prevail over every judgment the blood of Jesus speak for me the blood of Jesus speak for you David the blood of Jesus speak for you Esther Bonolua in the name of Jesus thank you blessed redeemer Glory be to your name, O God, for we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. As we are decreed, so shall it be in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for joining me again. Till I come your way again, keep transforming because transformation is one step at a time. And when you change, keep getting better because things work when we work it. Thank you and bye for now.